hi guys good morning hope you are doing well today I'm going to deliver second chapter please like subscribe for my next video and also comment if you have any question so let's start there are some terms that you need to pay attention to because these terms are used in provider one so please remember those terms today I will discuss one among them MSP so that is the term that I will discuss today the first question so what exactly MSP is? Managed Service Provider MSP is the service provider that is delivering the managed services. A definition I'll show you and the rest of the terms are CMA, MDS, MDG, MLM, CLM, SIC and POP. So all these terms will be discussed in the series in uh, in my next chapters so today we will discuss about MSP I'll show you the, show you the diagram so that is the definition of MSP like a managed service provider is a commonly that remotely manages a customer's IT infrastructure and and user systems typically on proactive basis and under subscription model that I will explain you I'll show you the diagram so this is the diagram so you can see I'll take a pen you can see a lot of firewalls see like this firewall this is the firewall the red one all are the firewalls and this is our administrator so there are different branches pharma my bank branch my bank branch to so I mean to say that a lot of branches are there so there is a one administrator so as I told in my previous chapter he has to log in each and end device and has to push policy so that is a headache for him he has to remember all the logins there should be a centralized manner system here we require the provider one that is very short uh, scenario but provider one is used where there are a lot of firewalls like hundreds of firewalls or thousands of firewalls uh, suppose you are working in a company where there are only 500 employees so you are not required a provider one provider one is required where there are firewalls in hundred or thousands I'll show you another example uh, that is the diagram so you can see here how many firewalls are there see uh, this is the internal network and uh, there are so many firewalls in that one two three four five firewalls in that and here also so many firewalls are there this is the New York branch and this is the marketing site external site this is marketing site Mexico City so here also so many firewalls are there so in this type of scenario we require provider one that is a diagram of only one bank bank or branch you can say so the what MSP is doing MSP is taking tender of that bank as well and the tender of another bank as well so if he, it has taken a tender of 10 banks so it will merge all the banks in a one centralized system and will manage all the firewalls from one system so in this case we are required provider one so I'll explain you about that yeah now uh, as I told you what managed service provider is is a service provider that is uh, uh, managing your services and uh, I will take an example that will be better for you suppose there is a company Tata Motors and it is in mechanical field and is having a big IT infrastructure also now it has to recruit IT staff to manage all its infrastructures like its day to day IT work there is no issue Tata can hire new IT staff also but companies are ideally not preferring this the reason behind this is the risk of proper skill set risk of IT person leaving job finding new opportunity risk of new vulnerabilities etc this is the reason some companies don't want to take risk uh, or you can say that they don't want to take a headache of hiring new people and managing these skill sets so what they do they will say like a good company as CL, Vodafone or any other Accenture to handle their infrastructure, IT infrastructure. There is an invite to all the companies, then all the companies will take part in this 
and they will file a tender they will fill a tender they will go to the company site it's not like that any company will come and say that please give me your work who will win the tender with the less cost or will match all the parameters rules demands set by the customer that will be given the work so there is a proper written contract between two companies it means that now tata has given its it department to third party means it has outsourced it now offshore company say hcl for example win the tender and is going to provide support it is going to manage all the it services of the company now it is time of agreement and selection of the type of service tata needs from hcl there are subscription like silver platinum or gold i just uh, i have taken example that uh, 5 into 12 support means 5 days 12 hours support 5 days 24 hours support or 7 days 24 hours support 7 days of one week means all all the days you are providing the support it depends upon the companies msp usually charges a flat monthly fee under subscription model so what are the benefits benefits are stay up to date on new technologies new patches new firmwares new hardwares time to time recommended by the msp msp will recommend suppose you are using r70 and its port has ended so msp will guide recommend the company please purchase a new hardware its port has ended and the new features has come into the new new hardware so have access to necessary skills no need to hire a person for ethical hacking or network security or voice over ip an msp manages id services such as security accessibility for other companies saving these companies the cost of an expert internal it okay guys thanks for watching this video in the next video i will explain you about cma and mds Please subscribe and share. Thanks. Bye.